Hi, I'm about to paint my silicone doll with silicone paint. And here's the ingredients. Cycle paint. And here's the instructions. Then silk, smooth on silk pig. Silicone rubber color system. Made by the same company as the Psycho Paint. Then a paint thinner. And it's a matte, so when you use it, it helps matte the silicone. Then some sponges that are latex free for using with silicone. And first you have to use this um, acetone to take all the <clears throat> existing paint off the silicone. And I had a wig on her, so I have to get all the glue off. And then you start painting, which I will hopefully do in another video. And where's the final? Oh. Then for the final process uh, for matting. I got a matte powder kit. By Fuse Effects. So that's my starting ingredients. I've got some more stuff over here for when I'm finished painting. Wig. New eyes new uh, glue for the eyelashes because I wasn't using the proper glue. Eyelashes kept falling off, but anyway, that's my starting ingredients for painting my doll. Okay, so I mixed up my color. I'm painting my baby. Very exciting. So I mixed up equal parts of Psycho Paint A and B. I don't know which is which, you just mix equal parts of each of these, of however much you want. Then I added a very tiny bit of blue on a toothpick, basically. Just dipped it in with the equal parts, mixed it up till I got the desired color, which was the color you see now. Then I added a bit of this thinner and till I got the desired consistency, which I wasn't sure, it was supposed to be like cream. Now, it might be too thick. I think it might be too thick. Then, took my sponge, used a paintbrush. I just washed the paintbrush off to add the paint to the sponge. And I stippled it on. And when it, was too, when it, when it looked too thick, I then dabbed it off. So I've added the paint. You can't tell because I don't want to look like how 
dry to look like there's polka dots all over them. You don't add much for the layers because it builds up and then, it, then you can tell when it's dry. So her first layer of pale blue has been added. Stipple it all over her. Like this, like so. So she takes two hours to dry. Each layer takes two hours to dry. By close up you could see there's paint added. So she looks really shiny now with this on because she's not dry yet. And I'm curious to see with the matte uh, solvent if she will dry to a matte in two hours. So we'll see. Alrighty then, here I am in step one of the process.